Welcome to this Mecha Graphics product overview. We have many tools, but most of us still use PowerPoint to share data and analysis, discuss insights, and make recommendations. But it's not always easy to create a persuasive presentation. When you're presenting data and analysis, you need charts, and the charting functionality in PowerPoint and Excel can be limited. The result is that you often end up creating many charts when a single more powerful chart will be more persuasive. It's also time consuming to create these charts and presentations. You can spend hours manipulating your data and formatting your slides. The Mecha Graphics charting software provides a solution to this problem. You can upgrade your presentations and communicate your ideas clearly and create more compelling charts, better charts, taking advantage of unique charts, and add analytical enhancements to your charts. Mecha Graphics is available as an add-in for both PowerPoint and Excel, allowing you to create charts in either application. You can also link your charts in PowerPoint to Excel data. When using Mecha Graphics, you'll find that you'll save time when you're creating charts. Here are some unique chart types you can create using Mecha Graphics. These are Merameco and Bar Meco charts. These charts allow you to combine data that would have been shown in multiple bar charts into a single, more efficient, and understandable chart. You can also create waterfall charts. These are great charts for presenting changes or walking your audience through a financial report or piece of analysis. Additionally, you can create bubble charts and Gantt charts. Bubble charts give you a great overview of what's happening in the market and the Gantt chart allows you to present a timeline for your project. This is just a sampling of the dozens of chart types you can create in Mecha Graphics. When you add analytical enhancements to your chart, it makes it much easier to guide your audience to the insights. For example, in this waterfall chart, you can add an axis break to focus attention to the components of change. You can also add a comparison line to calculate differences on your chart. In this next chart, the growth line shows total growth and a CAGR column to compare growth rates for each series. You can also use enhancements to create a much more powerful bar chart. In this example, the net line shows the difference between the positive and negative values in the stacked bar. The data rows below the chart offer supplemental information, in this case margin data, and these are included in the data sheet. They're not text boxes that you have to create and update manually in PowerPoint. The CAGR here on the right allows you to compare the changes by line item on the income statement over the time period. Let me show you how to create this chart and also show you some of the time-saving features of Mecha Graphics. The first step when you create a chart is to get your data. You can type the data in the chart data sheet. You can copy the data from Excel and paste it into the data sheet, or you can drive your chart directly from your Excel data. And that's what I'm going to do. I go to Excel and I have my data range selected. And from the Mecha Graphics Charts tab, I'm going to choose Chart in PowerPoint. I could have chosen to drop it in Excel, but I'm going to choose PowerPoint. Then I choose my chart type, which is stacked bar. When I click that button, it navigates me back to PowerPoint. I go to a blank slide and I just click my mouse. And the chart will drop into the slide. The green border around the chart indicates it's linked to my Excel data and it's in sync with my Excel data. The next step is to determine how you want your data to appear on the chart. So we're going to go to Bars and Series from the Mecha Graphics ribbon. And in the Series tab, you can add or remove data from your chart, sort your data, or change how your data is displayed. In this case, I'm going to remove some of the data from the chart because my data in the Excel had header rows and subtotals that I don't need here. So I'm going to go through row by row and just deselect those that I don't want to appear in the chart. Doing so here allows me to remove them from the chart without altering any of my underlying data. 
Once I do that, I can also change how I want things to appear in the chart. So for net income, row 13, I don't want that to be a segment in the bar, but I want it to be a net line. So I'm going to make it a net line by checking that checkbox. For net margin and gross margin, rows 15 and 16, I want those to appear only as data rows under the chart. I'm deselecting them as part of the chart, but I am checking them as data rows to appear underneath my chart. If I now move to the bars tab, the last bar is actually growth information and shouldn't be displayed as a bar. So I'm going to instead for column seven, choose to show that as a CAGR column. And I'm going to go ahead and close this window. Now let's do some chart formatting. First, I'm just going to add my legend. And I can choose to align that legend to my CAGR column. So I'm just right clicking and choosing align to CAGR. And while I'm here, I'm just going to drag my margin handles to just change my margins a little bit. I'm just clicking and dragging. And the next thing I'm going to do is format the chart. So I'm clicking on chart in the ribbon and it will display the most common formatting options here on the right. And the first thing I want to do is actually hide my Y axis. So I'm going to uncheck that in the general tab here. And remember my net lines that we added. I want to show the values for those net lines. So I'm going to check that here as well. And I think I'll actually hide all of my series labels here. If I then move to the values tab, I can format the numbers in my chart. The first thing I want to do is simplify the display. So I'm going to move from millions to billions just by changing my data scale here from one to three. This is a very powerful feature because I don't have to change any of my underlying data. I can just scale the data in my chart. Next, I'm going to format the values. I'm going to format bar totals and netline series at the same time. So I'm using my control key to multi-select those rows. And then I'm going to add a decimal place and change my currency to dollars and my units to billions of dollars. For my data row and CAGR column, I can do the same. I click on that row and I'm going to format those values to be a percent with a decimal place of one. And I'm done. And I really like the look of this chart. So to save it and insert it into PowerPoint, I simply need to click off the chart. And now I have a couple other things to show you. If you have charts linked to Excel like I do, you can open the Excel link manager in the Mecha Graphics Charts ribbon, open Excel link manager, and here you see what ranges in Excel each chart in your deck is linked to. You can also choose to update the chart manually or automatically by checking the auto button. Another thing you can do if you like this chart and want to reuse it is you can add it to the chart gallery. So with the slide selected, I can click this plus drop down and I can choose to add the chart, the entire slide, or even the entire presentation to the gallery. Clicking the view button opens the gallery, which includes dozens of chart examples that will give you ideas when you need to create charts to present your data. And you can search on a number of different variables. For example, type of analysis. I'm going to search on valuation. And if I do that and click the search button, I can see all of the charts that include valuation data in my gallery. I can also choose by a number of other variables, for example, chart type, feature, 
or any text on either the chart or the slide. If I want to add a chart or slide from the gallery to my deck, I just right click and I can choose to add either the chart or the slide. Now I'd like to talk about the Preference Manager. The Preference Manager is a huge time saver because it allows you to set all of your defaults. And it allows you to set your charting preferences once and then apply them to all your charts. So here in Color Palettes, I can choose an existing palette or create my own. If I click on the Settings tab, it allows me to choose from a variety of charting defaults like color, fonts, font sizes, margins, and many other defaults. I can also set those defaults for all of the line styles for all of the different line elements in my chart, and then set my defaults for Gantt charts. For more information on the details of the Preference Manager, we do have a separate video on our website. Clicking on the Mecha Graphics Tools button, you can see that there are various Mecha Graphics tools in PowerPoint at the slide level that allow you to create slides more effectively. So agendas, Harvey Balls, value chains, text boxes, header boxes, and more. If you want to upgrade your presentations by creating more powerful charts, please check out Mecha Graphics. For more information, See our website at mechographics.com.